Hey, this is Lance with Brando Consulting. In this video, we're going to take a look at the already present customization options for the standard fishbowl reports. Well, and frankly, all reports for that matter. So I thought about creating this video because sometimes we'll receive a request to customize someone's report and the request is asking for something that's already there. So let's first take a look at how we see what options are already in a fishbowl report. I'm on the report screen and I'm going to open up the most common report, the cells order report. I'll double click on that and select a cells order so we can see something. And from this screen, you'll see that we have these options and columns, right? Not so obvious if you're looking at it from the cells order screen. From here, if we choose to look at a cells order, open up a, open up a cells order. I think I double clicked on it. I've got another program running in the background. Okay, so we go to file, print preview, And let's say you want this to look different. Um, maybe you don't like the fact that it's uh, blowing out all of the items on the bill of material. We can change that. There's, so, there's a lot of options on this report, as a matter of fact. You'll find that in the top left-hand corner under Modify Report. You'll click on that, and then we can click on the Options tab. There it is. Uh, that's what we're looking for, right? Um, so we can show the date issued or the date completed. You have control over the date that you show. And then it looks like we're out of options here, but if we just grab the scroll bar on the right-hand side, you'll see, whoa, there's actually there's a ton of options on this report, on what we can show and not show on the report. The columns give you options on what to show in, in the columns section. So there's the header section across the top and then the column section um, yeah, in each item. So I'll just do something quick and easy here. Uh, we've got item description, item number. We'll show the item description and number separated instead of the description and item together. And boom, those are separated. There was an, also an option to show or not show kit, uh, or excuse me, bomb items as well. So take a look at the modify report button every single report in fishbowl has it and if you still need some customization give us a call we'd love to help we can do anything possible with uh, queries in the in the data or your custom report design or if you need a dashboard that's automatically uh, updated uh, we we do it all uh, thanks for joining us today and we'll see you at the next video.